First of all, apologies for the truly awful lighting on this video, but I need to get this one done. Anyone who grew up in Britain between the 70s and probably the 90s will be familiar with the Littleness and Mist Men books by Roger Hargreaves. They later went on to be made into a cartoon series, which was voiced by Arthur Lowe, who played Captain Mannering in Dad's Army. And for those who aren't familiar, they are books for very young children with titles like Mr. Happy, Mr. Busy, Mr. Uppity, that give young children a very easy way to understand uh, character traits, emotions and certain behaviours. And the Mr. Men books were written in the 70s and they were followed up by the Little Miss books with a female equivalent in the early 1980s. Now I should stress, neither the Mr. Men nor the Little Miss characters look vaguely human. But it emerged um, a couple of days ago that a study done at the University of Lincoln, where apparently they've got fuck all better to do, is that the Mr. Men and Little Miss stories are sexist, misogynistic, and enforce negative gender stereotypes. Take a minute on that. And the reasons given for this are, first of all, the Mr. Men stories are longer. And these are books that have got at best 60 words in them. Um, and in the Mr. Men books, the lead character is only helped by another character in 36% of the stories, whereas in the Little Miss books, it's 51%. Now, first of all, I'll say the Mr. Men series was written earlier, and I think that's where all the basic stuff got done. The Little Miss was just a, a way to get more things out there, so they were more complex titles like Little Miss Chatterbox and Little Miss Bossy, and this has upset these people at the university going, oh, you, you're saying that women act a certain way, it's offensive. And it's fucking bollocks. These are books that have been out for 40 years for young children to learn basic reading and writing. Also, they were written in the 1970s, for fuck's sake. Can you imagine how much worse that could have been with the attitude back then? Oh, it's Mr. Turban. He eats curry and he's stealing our jobs. Mr. Happy's going to kick the fuck out of him and he deserves it. Or you could have um, from the 80s. Oh, it's Little Miss Gobby. Little Miss Gobby's got a black eye because she spoke back to her husband. Fucking bitch. Uh, but again, imagine trying to write these books today. How awful would that be in this politically correct climate? And on the whole, Mr. Men, Little Miss thing, if you pick at something enough, you will find fault of it if that's what you want to do. But the modern equivalent, imagine it. It's Little Miss Snowflake. She sits at home and cries all the time and she's upset by fucking everything. She was never told off as a child and she can't regulate her emotions. Or the awkward one, it's Little Miss or Mr. Gender Fluid. This individual wakes up each morning not sure which gender to dress as, but they're not doing it for attention. Of course, the one I would like to write would be Mr. Social Justice Warrior. Mr. Social Justice Warrior is a twat. He sits at home, beating out his impotent rage into his keyboard with his caps lock on. One day he disappeared, because he'd finally gone up his own arsehole. I'd just like to thank uh, my friend Charlie from the Bad Soul Buskers for sending me this link this morning. It's had me in a bad mood all fucking day, mates.